Welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find entry level security job using LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, we will learn what are the entry level jobs available for complete fresher and what are the jobs available for experienced professionals like network engineer, uh, IT professionals like system admin, uh, help desk engineers and everyone. Okay. And then I'll show you how can you find the job on LinkedIn. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. So when it comes to freshers, the, the beginner job, the entry level jobs are this. SOC analyst level one, where you, uh, where your responsibility to, uh, will be to work as a first responder. Um, you will work into the initial triage, uh, security monitoring, uh, working with tools like SIM, EDR solutions and everything. Okay. And uh, then you have security analyst job or I, to be very specific junior security analyst job where your responsibility would be quite broader along with working on operation you might also work on the vulnerability management vulnerability assessment and some documentation as well grc analyst or i would say junior grc analyst your responsibility would be more on a risk assessment uh, compliance management like uh, based on the industry you are working in maybe uh, PCI DSS compliance maybe HIPAA compliance if you are working for uh, organizations uh, in, in the healthcare in United States so you might have to deal with HIPAA if your organization is, is uh, 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 you know doing business in European countries so you might have to address some vulnerabilities or compliance management uh, related to GDPR so they, these varies also junior uh, pen tester so in this case uh, you require uh, you require to have a knowledge about uh, a Kali Linux different vulnerabilities in web application or network like uh, SQL injection cross site scripting attacks and everything okay uh, what I personally suggest is before we you directly jump into this this is my personal uh, suggestion that you should go for internship first before start applying for certain jobs if you don't get it of course you can go ahead and you know start applying for these roles but i personally recommend you to go for internship because this way you feel confident about the role and it in fact when you start applying for a job the chances of getting into the getting the call from the interviewer is also higher Okay, and if you get the call, the chances of clearing the interview is also brighter. It's also better in that case, comparatively. Okay, so try to do the internship. Uh, if you are an experienced IT professional or maybe any IT professional or maybe any experienced, uh, you know, professional, these are some of the entry level job you should look for. But depending on what you are doing currently, if you are into IT help desk, system admin, uh, server management. So network security engineering role would be better. Security analyst role will be better. Uh, if you are into network engineering role, so security engineer and security architect role will be better. Now it also depends on how much experience you have. If you have probably 10 years or 12 years of experience, you can apply for security architect role if you are a network engineer or server or infrastructure engineer okay security tester role you can apply for security tester or app security engineer role if you have been uh, you know you, you are maybe currently a software tester so if you have spent like six seven years in the as a software tester it makes sense for you to get into security tester or app security role as well as well okay so all right so let's get get into linkedin and search for the entry role we are on linkedin and on the center we have job section click on it and then on the left just search for any job title let's say SOC analyst i'll go for this and then enter your city okay by default it will take your country and then under the experience level you can select entry level okay and click on show all the results now uh, don't blindly trust the results 
why I am saying this because uh, I personally suggest you to read the job description first because sometimes what happens is in the job description somewhere it is mentioned that you need two years of experience you see experience two years and above okay and uh, if you go for another job let's say this is the SOC analyst at Airtel organization um, yeah nowhere uh, it is written to have an experience of this uh, so what you can do is uh, you can apply for this job but as you can see it is written level 2 so this cannot be a fresher's job this cannot be an entry level job okay but still you can apply for it although I personally as I said earlier level 2 uh, level 1 is the entry level job level 2 is an experience job uh, so that's why I'm saying you always have to read it properly so for example this one SOC analyst level one so this can be an entry level job you can apply for it but i would suggest before you apply make sure you read the job description very well uh, some of the key points make sure all these keywords are there in your resume like audit trail a sim uh, playbook uh, maybe anything about the uh, tool specific uh, documentation SOC process this has to be there in your resume for example, this one, SOC Analyst Level 1. This is definitely a fresher job. You can apply for it. You can see uh, SIM solution. This is the keyword. Make sure it's there in your resume. NIST, NIST, it should be there in your resume. Digital Foreign Sex should be there in your resume. When I say it should be there in the resume, I mean, you also need to make sure you are aware about what you are adding, right? So also if someone have if it is written about the any keywords technology you should add it as well like mitre attack azure or aws that would be fine uh, iso nist cobit at least have some understanding before you apply for it okay so this is how you find the entry level job i hope you got the idea we'll catch you in the next video if you have any question do let me know in the comment section below